curtain goes up and the curtain's going up and I'm so excited when they announced this show I got so so excited because <laughs> I'm a huge fan of the delightfully wonderfully weird reflections on crooked walking written back in the 80s and I am fangirling like crazy because <laughs> I'm talking with Anne Mortavy Anne Mortavy how are you oh god I'm great I'm just great yeah now, you I'm just really you just came good. back from Argentina uh -huh. in Vancouver for the the remount of your show what I you know I when Donna Spencer called and said we, we want to do reflections I went hallelujah <laughs> <laughs> it's such a wild show now when it, it was like 83 85 when when, when, when no when? We, I think we did the first one in 80 oh there you go and then we did it for four, three or four, or even five years running. I can't remember the details at the Arts Club, yeah. Yeah, you know what? The uh, Reflection of Crew Walking, if I could just say about the Arts Club. Uh, the Arts Club has had a couple of anniversaries, right? They had their the 30th or 40th or whatever. Yeah. And they were doing like, this season, it's all of our past hits. And I was always like, where's Reflections? You did it like five times. You need to do I a know. Cut into your history. <laughs> I know. It's funny. All those great shows, you know, so many of the things that were part of the arts club don't seem to come out. <laughs> I know. Like, what was it? Some other old classics, Talking Journey, which probably didn't age well. Um, and Angry Housewives was another show that was like yeah. a huge, defining show for that stuff. But let's talk yeah. about your show. Let's not talk about the arts club and all their shows. Let's talk about your show. So Thank you. How, how did Reflections on Crooked Walking come to be? It's such a delightful show. Did you just have an idea and then went, I wonder who might want to do this or, or did they No, I, th I think what happened is that I was going through changes in my life and I, and I was, at that time, I was really aware that each one of us is on a path. I mean, it's a pathway through our lives. And I took my path pretty clear, pretty like seriously. I felt, I felt that, um, you know, I felt sometimes I was being led into things like led into music and led. And I had this feeling of another world related to that. I was also at an age in my 20s starting to really see some of the issues in my life that needed some work and the darkness that came in and the light and the ups and the downs and the this and the that. And <clears throat> and I I. I just started to think about it and I started to imagine it actually in the forest around which I was living and walking through and thinking, yeah, there's a path and dark comes into your light and life. So the first two characters that kind of formed were the dark and the light, Ooh. the doorman and opia and how it was sometimes the things that were the hardest for me that I got clues to how what I wouldn't do anymore, you know, mm -hmm. or, or whatever it was. And that there were things that that prompted me and made me hungry to learn more. And so I started to look at myself. And when I said, wow, maybe if I wrote a musical about this and, you know, and I thought, oh, how the how on earth do you write a musical? So I went, literally went to the library. And I said, do you have any scripts of musicals? And they said, no, but we, we have some plays. And I said, well, great. Could I look at a play? So I just opened this play oh. and then opened another play and said, well, they put a title and then they say where things are going to happen. And then somebody <laughs> says something. So I said, it can't be that hard. <laughs> and lovely. Now, <laughs> so story structure that'll come. <laughs> that'll come yeah yeah I didn't have any of that going on at all I just knew that oh yeah so who were the characters so originally there was the doorman yeah. and well, well, could, could you can you do me a favor because yeah. you and I know the show could you quickly just tell us the the plot it sounds like you're about to but uh yeah what, what is the story of, of of all these wild wild characters well it was about well, it was about what I was going through, which yes. was. But we're not going to see these you four going char the, these characters who wake up one day and realize the they are the only ones left awake mm -hmm. in a town full of sleeping sickness, where everyone has fallen asleep. So they head off into the forest to find a cure 
to the sleeping sickness. And it's about how they collect clues to what, who are we? I mean, that's what my question was, is what, who are we? Who yeah. are, what are we doing? Why do we have wars again and again when it's so clearly stupid? Yeah. It just hurts a lot of people. What's that about? And here we are. It's as relevant today as it was back then. And yeah. I think that there, I began, I mean, when I started, I started just with this nebulous idea, but as it moved on and I was working with it, I think what I really got was that there are people who wake up and say, what's really going on here? I mean, why, maybe I have something to do with it. Maybe if I changed myself, I could help. Maybe we could all change and do it better. What are the clues that would help me to mm -hmm. grow as a human being in a better way? So I sectioned myself without knowing I was doing it until years later. But I was like Reverend Blinkers, well, maybe this book will show me. I, I'd gone through a, a religious phase when I was fairly Christian and very religious about it. And I said, you know, but then you find discrepancies in your thinking and you can't stay there and you feel a loss at losing the structure that you had. And, and then I said, well, and, and I'm clearly feather toes. I mean, <laughs> beauty is truth and truth, beauty. And that's all you need to know. Yes, like yes. be optimistic and it's all going to work out. Yes. And I discovered that isn't always true you know? no because sometimes if you if you is that thing now that i recently came to you can't be like what they sometimes call toxic toxic positivity where you're just like i'm blind to everything because yes. i want to see the light because that's how you can also be betrayed or hurt yeah because you have to and be betray aware. and hurt others yeah also, without realizing you are yeah. And then, of course, there was the part in me that just would suffer, like Sufferton, you know, and just feel, oh, my God, they're killing each other in fill in the blank. And, um, and, and I broke my heart. And, well, maybe if I, if I can, you know, suffer enough, I can actually, as Sufferton would say, enter the kingdom of the good guys and be able to help, you know. Right. Nice. So that character was very big in me too. And then and there was Gabrielle or Gabby, who was basically um, curious, right. like really, really curious about life and what does it mean? And I knew in myself, I was, I sort of used to say, I feel like I'm, I'm following breadcrumbs through the forest, you know, like Hansel and Gretel and trying to, trying to find out what is the meaning of all this? Where, where are we going? The whole show was really, I look, I mean, I look back on it with so much fondness because it led me somewhere. Nice. I did not make up the ending. The ending appeared through and the process. I didn't know where they were going from, you know, from, uh, scene to scene that, that they started looking for for clues and so there had to be a u and an r and an e and c u r you know e yeah. in it but whoa it worked out so well nice. yes the, it the worked out so well in the end and i uh, i that was my first experience of as an artist really being led to something that I did not know. Nice. Yeah. Nice. yeah. It, it, it came down and said, come out and be on the stage. And it's such, yeah. it's such delightful music. Now, uh, uh, we, we're, we're almost out of time, but uh, the, the songs are all so bubbly and light. Like they do exist on the Anne Mortify uh, YouTube page. And so I was just <laughs> listening to them before we did this. And I got up to tentacles tingle. <laughs> and, <laughs> And uh, uh, so uh, w w were there any songs like when you when you created it all those years ago, was there any songs we went, oh, this one's not fitting or everything that came out of your your fingertips 
ended up in the show like sometimes no no there were definitely things there were characters who i had a little graveyard for you know there was a mrs ornithal in a sardonis you know and mrs ornithal was my impulsive self who would leap into things and fly away in great bliss and then go whoa wrong person wrong place oh my god what was i thinking you know (laughs) but she had to go and so those songs disappeared but in general the songs there were songs that I wrote that are actually on the CD that never made in Mm. and one of them was um, Mrs. Ornithal's song oh wow as I continue listening because I I used to have the cassette tape you know when you (laughs) have one year I don't know if they did it every year they were just getting rid of stock every year oh yeah (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> oh, the tapes again. And I actually was digging around for it going, did I keep that? Is that here somewhere? And I couldn't find it anywhere <laughs> in my place. I was like, oh, I was going to show it to her. Uh, but I, I, it's it's gone. It's yeah, gone. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, and are you excited about seeing, because yeah, you're in Vancouver now, back from Argentina. Yep. Um, uh, are you, I, uh, I guess openings this week, Wednesday, is it? Is it? Yeah, yeah. It's opening on Wednesday. I'm really excited because... If it could be done on a smaller stage without the white ice and, you know, and all the wonderful things that uh, that you can do in a larger theater, I would be so thrilled. Because I do think of all the things that I've created, I meet someone in the spaghetti section of the Safeway and they say, oh, my God, I saw reflections. Where? Are, when is someone going to bring it back? That changed my life as a young person. Oh. I went four times with my grandmother, you know, or whatever. And now they're grandmothers. (laughs) What can I say? And uh, so, yeah, I'm really happy about it because um, I do think it has something for today. Oh, for sure. You know, because it's still the same feelings I have as I had then. Uh, I just, I don't think I've done anything quite so whimsical and wonderful, actually. (laughs) I'm I'm wondering now too for me I'm very excited to see it again and because of the fact that like when I saw it of course uh, 20 years ago no it's longer than that uh, I was quite young and I wonder if it's going to land on me differently now yeah. that I'm older uh, uh, yeah um, I think uh, it's a, it's a delightful show like I said uh, when I go jogging I sing songs from it all the time uh, Magic Door <laughs> is one that I uh, it's interesting listening to it on on the YouTube page. Uh, I was like, oh, I've got some of the words wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it, well, it was... you, yeah, it's funny because Magic Door has turned out to be my life. Nice. Really, because I, I open doors. I'm not afraid to go through them. Some of them are like, why am I doing this? And is this part of my path, really? And then um, they turn out to be magical. I mean, I've had so many serendipitous experiences and and I look at it and I go, well, that was Paul, being with Paul Horn. Nice. I mean, when we got together, I just said, wow, this is the best magic door I've ever gone through. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, and you're going to be walking through a magic door as you step through the Fire Hall Art Center yes, to I witness am. your opening night again for this wonderful, <laughs> wonderful reflections on crooked walking. Uh, I am so looking forward to it. Uh, and thank you so much for taking time. I'm sure you're a little bit jet lagged uh, from your trip. <laughs> Uh, but you look resplendent. Uh, oh, thank you, darling. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, see you at the theater. Oh, I look Bye. forward to seeing you, David. Okay. Bye. Bye, honey. Thanks so much.